Hello, people. My name is Danny Graham. This is my show, Comic Chat. I want to welcome you back. Before we get started on today's topic, which I think is very near and dear to my heart, very important, I want to actually do three things that I always ask you to do. First thing I want to ask you to do is please subscribe to my channel because your subscriptions are very much needed and want to get to my goal, which is a thousand subscribers. Second, I want you to do is please hit the notification bell because I don't want you to miss any material that I upload. Third thing I want you to do is please, please give me a thumbs up. Give me feedback. Give me comments. Your feedback, your comments, your thumbs up lets me know many things. First of all, that I'm doing a good job because you're giving me a thumbs up. Second, I want your comments and questions so I have material that I can feed on, stuff that will empower me, that give me the strength, give me the motivation to keep doing this show, comment chat, keep doing this show for you, the people that support me. I want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. Today I'm going to talk about something that I, I had an epiphany today. And the epiphany I had today is that I can't do things like other people want me to do. I can't say things like other people want me to say. Um, I've been critiqued by friends and family. And some of them say, well, Danny, you're monotone. And Danny, you don't have the energy. Um, I'm not going to sit here. I, I, some YouTubers that I see, some... Um, other people they come here with a lot of energy and razzmatazz and all that kind of stuff and it works for them um, I'm not saying that I'm not energetic but I do love what I do I do love bringing you material I do love your conversation I do love talking to you but sometimes I'm just not energetic that's just not my personality that's not to say I'm not giving you all that I got because I'm giving you all that I got uh, sometimes I talk slow and monotone because I'm gathering my thoughts and I want to make sure what I say makes sense when I talk slow, I want to make sure that the words that I say are coming out the way I want them to come out and to convey the message that I want conveyed. And also, if I talk too fast, sometimes I, I tend to mumble what people tell me. So I don't want to mumble. So I'm talking slow because I want to be able to properly enunciate the words and articulate to you my thoughts what's going on. Um, the main thing I'm going to talk about you today is... Uh, Something that's just been bugging me. Um, as I listen to other YouTubers, I'm on other YouTuber shows. Um, I'm getting all different uh, opinions, different aspects of things. But what it's breaking down to me and what I've come to, the epiphany I was talking about earlier, is that um, I'm sick of canon. In, in the case of you don't know what canon is, it's a general rule, principle, or criteria by which something is judged. What canon mainly refers to from the research and from what I've seen, is it refers to biblical stuff like the Bible and chapters and that kind of stuff. But it's also been used in, especially in Star Wars, canon is, is the criteria that I guess George Lucas or whoever the, the particular writes a story goes by a particular baseline and it stays that baseline. And the second something jumps off and it's not in a chronological order or makes sense, people are yelling, it's not canon, it's not canon. I don't like it because it's not canon. I'm sick of hearing that. I don't care about canon. Um, people say stuff with Marvel or Endgame. It's not canon. It's not canon. I am really sick of canon. At the end of the day, movies are made to entertain people. Some people are going to like it. Some people are not going to like it. If you don't like it, then quit crying about it. No one is making you go see the movie. If you don't like it, just say, I don't like it. Tell why you don't like it and keep going. But to build an actual um, channel, which is your right, I'm not saying it's not your right, because I'm going to, the same way you get the right to talk about how you don't like something and then get on there and, and beat it, continually beating the dead horse, then I'm going to be on the other side, continue to beat the dead horse, saying, look, at the end of the day, it's fantasy. It's fiction. Fiction is not real. Escapism which is basically the tendency to seek distraction and relief from unpleasant realities, especially by seeking entertainment or engaging in fantasy. Fanatics. A fanatic is someone that is kind of unhealthy to be a fanatic in certain stuff. Fanatic is a person exhibiting excessive enthusiasm and intense, uncritical devotion towards some controversial matter, mainly religion or politics. I've seen some people, which is, again their right to, to feel how they feel. This is my right to feel how I feel. I think it goes over the line. Um, 
They don't like certain move that someone make or direction that they go or um, they don't like, uh, I'll use this movie, some people hate Venom. I don't hate Venom. I'll, I'm not saying it's the best movie out there because I would be lying. But Venom could clearly be explained as alternate Earth. We see in shows now that has alternate Earth. That could be Venom from an alternate Earth. Not the Venom that you're accustomed to seeing or that we've grown up seeing on Spider-Man. But it's, it's the person that wrote the story. It's his or her point of view. At the end of the day, it's fiction. Do you know what fiction means? Not real. Fantasy. Fantasy. People are getting on some YouTube channels, some shows, whatever medium they use, whatever social medium they use, Twitter or whatever it is, and it's going totally crazy because it's not what they want. Okay? Everybody is not going to like the same thing. But I'm sick of hearing this. It's not canon. It's not canon. Okay, the hell with canon. If the show is entertaining, you like it. That's your opinion. That's your hard-earned money that you want to spend. If you like it, you like it. I came to that epiphany today. I don't give a damn about canon. Um, if I go to a movie, I pay my money, my $12.50, and I like it, I'm going to watch it. And if I get on my channel, which I have a channel now, I'm going to say I like it. I don't want nobody. It, it doesn't, doesn't, it's not important enough that when you get into a debate with somebody about it, that it goes to cursing, and you call people this, and you call people that. That's just not my, that's not my cup of tea. When it comes to Star Wars, that Kathleen King doesn't know what she's doing. That's my opinion. But then, I came with a thought today. I've never been a movie director. Um, I've never been given that kind of responsibility. Um, I, I'm not a protege of George Lucas. Who's to say George Lucas is not directing her on what she's doing? Maybe the direction she's going is not canon, but maybe it's something that she and George Lucas has discussed. And he's given her free reign to make, to make it in her own image. Now, for people that are true fans, I guess, so to speak, and love and think this canon is the Bible, this, fi this fictional story now. Last time I checked, Star Wars was fictional. Fake. Someone wrote it. Someone made it up. So if you are the creator of something, it's within your power to change it. Just because it doesn't match up with a particular book you read or a particular show you watch and may not be canon, it's what that person wants it to be because they have the right to change it. The same way you have a right to sit there and criticize somebody that person who created the show or who's in charge or in charge of creating the show has the right to change and see as they, as they see fit. So my epiphany today was I'm sick of canon. I wish I could destroy that word because people are going totally crazy, especially if it's something that is non-fictional, uh, something that was religious, political, something in the real world, something that's tangible, that is going to change um, the fate of humanity or make the world better. I can see you being a fanatic, but something that you don't like a particular trilogy. Um, some people love the first trilogy of Star Wars. Some people hate the prequel of Star Wars. And some people are criticizing and killing this. I didn't like um, The Last Jedi. I didn't like The Force Awakens. I didn't like the way they portrayed Luke Skywalker. But I'm not going to de devote hours of my life arguing that's not my Luke Skywalker or they totally messed this up and can it this and can it that no I'm not gonna do that um that's that's my opinion my prerogative the same way but if that's what you want to do again I'm saying this as your prerogative your opinion I'm just on the other side of the fence now um um I'm gonna do things my way now I've watched many YouTubers. I don't have the charisma. Some YouTubers like Tyrone Magnus. I don't have the comedic timing of uh, some YouTubers that I like Robert Storm. I don't have the animation of Grace Randolph. I'm Danny. Um, I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to do it the way that makes me happy. So, um, not criticizing anybody because all those YouTubers I name are great and fantastic. They're doing a much better job, has much more sub subscribers than me. I'm just using them as an example. Um, I have no ill will against all of, against any of them because Robert Storms is a good friend of mine. Uh, we met through YouTube. Um, 
his show is phenomenal. I watch it every day. Um, the way he does things works for him. I'm going to do something that works for me. The way Tyron Madness does things, it works for him. The way Grace, Grace Randolph does things work for her. Um, I like my way. Um, yes, my voice may be monotone. I'm sorry if you feel that way, but I want you to really, really hear what I say. I want to be thoughtful from the the brains, the thoughts that comes to my brain and travels to my mouth. I want the words that I choose to come out and you hear them and understand what I'm trying to say. I'm a fan of Star Wars. I'm a fan of Marvel. I'm a fan of DC. I'm a fan of any comic movies, sci-fi movies. I cover all that. Um, and if I like something, whether you like it or not, whether you think it's crap or not, that's your opinion. Um, I'm going to tell you why I like it. I'm going to uh, explain to you the things I did like about it and things I didn't like about it. And I'm going to move on to the next show, the next TV series, the next movie. Some of my friends don't like Crisis on Infinite Earths. I personally like it. Um, I guess I'm not as a big a critiquer as they are. And then some people think it's crap and why they're doing this, why they're doing that. There's some, there, I don't like everything about it, but I like um, a lot of the things they do. I'm a fan of CW. I think CW overall does a better job than DCU, and it should be the other way around because they have a bigger budget, um, more opportunities, more um, money to do things better. But it seems like CW has a better grasp on the superhero genre, and they're knocking it out of the park, in my opinion. Um, the Mandalorian, first four episodes I like, fifth episode not so much. But I'm not going to condemn the whole thing or not keep harping. It's not canon or it's this person on here is not going to match up to this. It's not going to match up to that. I'm really sick of that word, canon. I don't give a damn about canon. Um, if I'm entertained by the story, whether it's canon or not, I don't really don't care. In, in Star Wars, in Marvel, in DCU, whatever. Um, if they want to change the mind or, or do a 180, uh, if it's entertaining, I like it, I'm going to watch it. If I don't like it, I'll say, well, I don't like that, but I'm pretty much still going to watch it. I'm going to watch all the shows that is going to involve Crisis on Infinite Earths. Um, I did not watch Cloak and Dagger. Some people that I know, um, in particular Mama Bear, said it's a very good show. Um, another YouTuber that I um, just recently became friends with. Um, I may watch because of her opinion, but I'm probably, I, I don't know. Like I said, some things you're going to like, some things you're not going to like. But I'm not going to harp on it's not canon or it's not the comic book. And at the end of the day, I'm going to harp on this. I'm going to say this one more time. It's fantasy. The reason that we go to movies, the reason that we go to um, read comic books is escapism. To get away from the real world that we should have this energy, this fanatical energy that we have for things that aren't real. You go there to take a break, a mental break, a chance to just sit down and relax and say, oh, I had a rough day. Let me go watch some Star Wars. Let me go watch Endgame. Let me go watch Black Panther. Let me go watch something that's going to make take my mind off the real world and give me a mental break. Give me a chance to escape into something that's not real. Okay? That's not real. Not real. And we are fanatical. Some of us are fanatical about stuff that's not real. I did not like the last two Star Wars. I did not like Solo, but I'm not going to stop watching S Star Wars. I'm not going to get up and walk out of the Rise of Skywalker when it comes out next week. No matter how bad it is or matter, or, or how bad people think it's going to be, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to critique it. If I like it, I'm going to say I do. If I don't, I'm not going to say I'm pretty sure there's going to be some things that I'm not going to like. But I'm sure there's going to be some things in there that I'm going to very much like. Again, and for the final time, I'm sick of canon. I don't care about That's it. That's my two cents. Um, thank you for supporting me with your subscriptions. Please leave comments. Please leave a thumbs up. And again, from the bottom of my heart, from Comic Chat, from Danny Graham, thank you all for your support. Y'all have a good night. And as always, peace.